Custom ROMs have loads of customization, but sometimes you just want to go back to the stock ROM. And if somebody haven't shown you how to go back there safely, you might run into some unexpected problem, like this one. I didn't see it coming at all. Yeah. Get out. Why we were shooting this video. So if you will, let me show you how to safely go back from custom ROM to stock ROM. Welcome back to Smart Depot. This video is for those who want to move from custom ROM back to Remi UI for Remi X2. So first of all, you have to download the OZIP, which is kind of the stock uh, ROM, uh, and the zip file. So what we're going to do here first is that we're going to try to rename it. It's just simple, rename the extension from OZIP to zip, just remove the O. A whole lot of file explorer can do that. So an average file explorer can do that. So as you can see now, we've renamed this guy to zip. So right now it's a zip file. So that's what you'll need. So you are still in your custom recovery TWRP or any other recovery you're using, just reboot into the recovery. So why in the recovery, if you are using the pass screen lock key, it will require it also because of encryption. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to wipe. So when we get to wipe, the first thing I do is you wipe the data. So this is basic. Now I'll explain to you, you don't need to wipe the system, vendor, all this thing, because once you're flashing the OZIP, the system will also wipe it. So let's avoid double wiping because it could create some problem. So go to where the file you downloaded, the one we just renamed, as you can see now is zip. And then we just pick it, select it, the OTA for Remy UI, uh, a full zip. It should be up to 2.9 gigabytes or 2.98 or seven baht. So you just flash it like the normal, you know, TR, TWRP uh, <laughs> ROM you flash. And so it will flash a uh, system firmware, it will flash a uh, vendor and some other system images and patch all firmware images. So as you can see, it has flashed all these images right now. So yeah, so that's it, it has flashed a whole lot of stuff here. And this, as you can see, the system OZIP does not have any information for you know data, it doesn't flash anything. Now this is where people make a lot of mistake. You are supposed to reboot into the recovery and then format data. But if you also reboot the system, the system will reject the boot and push you back to recovery. That is a normal thing. So you shouldn't just worry about that. If you push you back into recovery, as you can see, wiping data will not remove that your password or encryption. So that's why it's important to format data because formatting data will remove encryption and prepare the new ROM for new encryption uh, if you wish to add it while you are locking your screen. So after you have um, wiped out, after you've rebooted recovery, you just go back to wipe, you know, and then select format data. Uh, TWRP will require you type yes to format data. And then once you hit that, it will format the data. There's a, nothing there already, <laughs> it's just to format it uh, because you've wiped data earlier. Okay, so even if you didn't wipe data, this will also take care of wiping data earlier, but that's just my style. And that's uh, all you need to do in the recovery and then reboot now. As you can see right now, it will boot. And then once it boots like this, it will wipe out the custom recovery and put on stock ROM. So keep that at the back of your mind that you're not going to have your custom recovery again. So that's that. Um, this is Remy UI right now. I'm booting up. I'm going to the setup. Just want to show you part of the setup so you can see that the ROM is booting effectively the way it should. Uh, you can sign if you want. You can skip it if you want. So uh, I, I did skip all of this and then went straight to the to the ROM itself to feel how it is. So this is Remy UI. We move from custom ROM straight to Remy UI. And, and that's about that. But I'm going to give you two extra bonuses if you watched up to this point. Now that you've done this, the next thing you need to do is probably need to really, really verify that you're running on stock recovery. Of course you are. And then also one uh, one other thing I will tell you to do as a bonus, there's nothing in your storage right now. So I will encourage you to go back and try whether the fingerprint is working. This is very, very important. So you add 
fingerprint and see whether it's running. If there's any problem or anything or root or anything that's not working well, the fingerprint probably will not register. So as you can see, the fingerprint is working. So that's a very good sign. So after that, now the bonus you're going to do is that you're going to just go on and reboot the phone into the recovery by turning off the phone, then pressing the power button and the volume minus button to reboot into the recovery. This is just a bonus. You can skip it if you want. Once you reboot into the recovery right now, recovery to give you option for language. So that's just to confirm your own stock recovery. So you select your language and then you click on wipe. Because I've already added a fingerprint, it will also begin to ask me about screen lock password. So this is very, very important. So once you put the screen lock password, for me, I also format data again. So because Remy UI officially requires that you format data to not have any problem or some bugs. So I also, you know, added this as kind of, you know, additional bonus. So you should just do it to make sure that everything you run is running cool. So that will be about that. Click on the subscribe button, like, comment, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace yeah. out. Subscribe. I see you. Oh, my God.